Hello and welcome by AAA's art channel. My name is Joel Kjan Wiersma and today I'm going to talk about and show you guys my another Friesian horse painting. Last week I did uh, paint Lotte and it will be a pop-up uh, by now. And also in that intro I told you guys that th these kind of paints, these two paintings are very big. So therefore it's not sitting on my easel anymore because it just uh, takes up too much room. I will now have a picture of a close-up of uh, Livke's head because uh, today we're gonna uh, uh, paint Livke. And uh, Livke is the horse of me and my, uh, my husband. So uh, last week's uh, painting was a lot and she's the, the horse of my, my parents. Um, I switched between the paintings like explained in that tutorial and uh, so therefore I used the same materials. Uh, I used acrylic paint and airbrush. And um, I did also a little bit of filming uh, of the model uh, for this tutorial, so I will introduce Livke to you guys as well. Then I'm showing you a few pictures, of, I think a few beautiful pictures that I uh, to have taken of them uh, last year while they were running through the water. And I picked my pictures and then I started painting. So there, uh, after the pictures I will start my uh, tutorial. So that said and done, uh, let's start uh, the introduction of the model and then we go on from there. And here she is. This is Livke in uh, real life. And uh, yeah, I'm really proud to have this, uh, these horses around me. And uh, that I am able and can say that Livke is our own horse. It's really beautiful. And she's uh, been with us over 16 years now. So that's uh, quite a long time. And I'm still very, very happy with, uh, with her. And they, uh, as you can see, they really like to uh, like the water, especially Livka. I uh, will have a clip there uh, where she's going to stand in the water and uh, splash with her uh, uh, feet uh, into the water. She really likes to play with the water. And Lotto, uh, Lotto is most of the times following her. Livka is uh, a the leader of this uh, little uh, group. <laughs> and uh, as you can see here, she's uh, really, really enjoying the water. And it was really uh, not even that warm that day, but it looks like uh, she is uh, a little bit overheated or something. But uh, yeah, like I said, she really likes to play in the water. <laughs> so funny. So, and uh, last year I took some pictures and this, uh, these are a few of them. And this one I'm uh, used for, uh, for the painting. But also this one it was very beautiful, I think. And uh, yeah, the weather was a little bit better back then. And uh, I could make, as you can see, uh, if you ask me, so make some beautiful uh, picture. And this is the one that I used for Lotta as a reference. And here's another one of Lotta. I like this one uh, also very much. And she is here on full speed, so that was uh, very nice. I was very inspired to, uh, to paint these, uh, these paintings. It took me over a year, but finally I uh, was uh, getting there. So uh, what you see me doing now here is uh, just laying in a base layer and I'm leaving some gray areas and uh, some different shades of gray and black. This is just to uh, indicate where uh, my lines are because I'm uh, just painting in and uh, but I need those lines to know where the shoulder is for uh, for example or where the foot starts and the, that kind of stuff so I'm just building up I'm not focusing on the detail I just uh, want to get rid of the white of the canvas and also for the airbrush I don't want to lose my line so I uh, as you can see I started my airbrushing and now can even uh, I'm easily uh, airbrush over the areas I just painted in uh, from the heart so I don't have that uh, halo effect I just painting over the heart and uh, later on painting it back in but um, it's quite kind of translucent uh, paint uh, from the airbrush so therefore I see will see my lines underneath the airbrushing part and the airbrushing for me is just uh, watching the reference and try to copy the shapes that I'm seeing, the different uh, shapes and um, different details. I made it a little bit more out of focus than it was in my pictures. And I'm doing that because I want to have the focus, as, uh, of course, on the horse. So therefore I'm laying in a background because it's, uh, it's nice and is there. And uh, it really does look nice, all the green and, and uh, the black horse uh, standing, um, the black is a very... Um, standing out of the green so therefore I'm uh, leaving that in but I'm doing it a little bit out of focus and just in uh, as always I'm slowly building up I'm really taking my time and um, it was quite an achievement for me to uh, paint uh, such a big canvas because it takes uh, just longer to uh, have a nice result but I uh, was um, 
always say saying to myself like i always do in my, in my uh, tutorials just uh, keep on painting keeping on building up and we will get there but yeah, as uh, long as it uh, it doesn't doesn't look right, you uh, just need to paint over it and uh, build up your uh, your layers. And obviously, really, what if everything goes right? If you're a little bit off, that doesn't matter that much. But if you are too much off, try to find where you uh, did get uh, get a little bit overboard, probably with something, and try to uh, yeah paint over it again and um, yeah go from there. And in this state, yeah, it, it sounds uh, quite easy, but in this state, not, not much can go wrong. I just need the texture. My shapes are here and there a little bit off, but I'm just op painting over them uh, later again. And as you can see uh, me doing here, is I did, did grab the airbrush again because I wasn't dark enough. I was started on the water and the sand, on the sand already, but I had to come back with the airbrush because I noticed when I laid in those colors that my background wasn't dark enough. Funny enough, I did first a painting of Lotte, and there I didn't have this problem. So I don't know why, but I uh, just uh, kept it uh, too light. And later on, I will glaze over the sand again. Same problem, I kept it too light. So yeah, I had some practice, but I uh, made it. Uh, didn't uh, I, I didn't do it uh, right the first time? But uh, like I always say, it's not a big problem. You, you just have to paint over it. And uh, I may have lost some details, but I just. Uh, yeah, needed to paint them uh, back in and uh, problem solved, so therefore it's not a big big problem. And I really like the marsh black here because it's a very, very dark opaque black. But I have to say, every black spot you see on my canvases, I uh, always have, uh, yeah, basically always have mixed in another, another color. And in this case uh, of the horses, I just um, use some brown tones, sometimes uh, purples and yeah, probably some blue. But I think I stuck uh, for this painting uh, the most times uh, with the purple and the brown tinges. Because I already had the tinges uh, of purple and brown on the highlights and on the shine. You will see me uh, painting that uh, in later. So it's basically a darker version of the same color. And for me, it's sometimes, yeah, people may not notice it, but I think I can see it that it's, uh, it's more, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's easier to get it uh, as one piece. In this case, I'm talking about the hard to get it uh, as one horse because we have a lot of different shades in color. Not not very different colors, but a, a lot of different shapes, uh, shades. I'm sorry. Um, so different black uh, colors and brown tints, and therefore I'm uh, yeah try to stay in the same hue. If I'm explaining that correctly, yeah, it's uh, the hue of color. So I am uh, mixing in darker tones and lighter tones of that same uh, color, and that helps me to uh, to, to keep uh, the parts together. And by keeping the parts together for um, just to be on the safe side I'm meaning that it's one piece so we have one horse it, it, otherwise it may look that the uh, feet were um, yeah were on her or hanging there but it needs to be one piece one horse so therefore I uh, that, that's what I mean and here you saw me uh, using already uh, some lighter shades on her back and her shoulder uh, the shoulder is mostly um, a mixture of brown and purples and on the lighter portions I use some yellow and I can't remember the name of the yellow on top of the head but I just uh, it needed um, uh, yeah a little bit more of a yellow brownish color and those um, lighter uh, sixes I'm talking about are uh, do I have that color because of the Sun it was uh, this was these pictures were taking in uh, in the late summer so they the black is uh, turning a little bit brown, not too much. Most of the times th these uh, horses stay quite black, but there are some spots who are lighten up just a little bit uh, because they are uh, uh, quite a lot in the sun th uh, those months. You have some freezing horses who are almost completely get brown. Personally, I don't like that as much, and we are lucky enough that our horses uh, stay uh, quite black during the summer, even during those uh, sunny days. And I really like painting in black. Some people have, find it quite hard to paint in black. For example, my uh, my mother, uh, I was talking about her uh, with this. Um, 
she is also a, uh, a painter, a artist. Um, she doesn't make uh, much art these days uh, anymore, but she painted a lot. And she uh, still has uh, some trouble with, uh, with painting uh, black fur. For me, it's the easiest to paint. I don't know why, but I, uh, I love black and I, yeah, it suits me. For me, uh, uh, white uh, fur is a little bit harder. So uh, for, for her, it's, that's easier. But for me, uh, the black is uh, very, very easy uh, to paint. So sometimes it almost li uh, uh, felt like uh, I was cheating because it felt so easy. But yeah, I don't know why, but I, I, uh, I, I think I understand the colors and how they work together with, with black, especially. And maybe that comes with experience, but she has more, uh, probably more experience than me. But uh, yeah, it's also a personal yeah, preference, maybe, I don't know. And here I'm uh, painting in the water and I really uh, watch the, sh the shapes of the water and how those lines go because it's very important because the water has to go upwards because she is um, going through the water on quite, uh, with quite some speed so therefore the we have splashes of water and I really need to indicate that water. I'm not exactly uh, with every line so if there are three lines I maybe have two lines but uh, yeah. I, need to follow the direction of those lines. And here's the picture of the end result. So, now the, uh, both the paintings are hanging in our uh, canteen, in our uh, bird shelter. And uh, I got uh, really great uh, responses on them. And uh, that's, that's really awesome. Uh, because, yeah, it's, it's nice that people can enjoy your art. And um, so, therefore, I'm really happy with, uh, with those uh, two beautiful paintings. And they feel uh, literally for me as a milestone. When I started painting, I really hoped one day that I, that I could uh, paint my pets. And including my, uh, my horses, of course, because I... Uh, see them as pets as well, uh, but also the dogs and the cats, and, um, but as realistic as I could. So photorealism suits me uh, very well, I really like the style. Um, and I really like uh, surrealist, uh, uh, surrealism and also fantasy. So I will uh, try to practice more uh, the fantasy style. So that will be, uh, uh, if, if it suits me, if it, um, yeah, obviously it's it gonna suit me, but I'm uh, more meaning, um, uh, if I can find a way to work more fantasy art out, I definitely will do that. Because I think I know I, I want something, um, basically something new. But that is, uh, that it's not really new because, uh, to be honest, uh, I always wanted to make uh, fantasy art or be able to make it. But it's so hard because finding good references um, is nearly impossible. Um, as I work now. There will be references, but they are not direct. It's not that I, I like in this tutorial, I have a picture and I'm going to paint a picture. So therefore, uh, yeah, it includes some, uh, some extra skills. And I uh, think I, uh, I'm at least ready to try it. I want something new. I want to uh, yeah, get, uh, practice myself and uh, encourage myself to practice more and more. So therefore, uh, if it works out, I will show that up, uh, of course, on my, uh, my channel as well. And as usual, if you have any questions or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. I had a suggestion uh, a few months ago of a, a, a dragon painting, uh, quite recently also on Facebook. Uh, yes, there are comics on dragons, I don't know when, because I have a lot of different uh, uh, projects I'm working on. But it will be definitely uh, dragons, because I really enjoy uh, making dragons. So they will come, but I cannot say when. Uh, probably somewhere this year. But thank you for the suggestions, I really like it. Um, yeah, I think I have said everything for, uh, for this tutorial. Uh, my upcoming uh, will be uh, a lot smaller, so that's, uh, that's kind of nice. It's, uh, yeah, from very big to very small, I think uh, that I found it quite uh, ironic and uh, I had a, a, quite some fun uh, working on the project, so that will be up uh, soon. Um, yeah, and if you want to so, so, uh, su um, support, uh, words are hard, if you want to support my, my channel, please uh, feel welcome. I really, really uh, enjoying it and, and really like making this tutorial. So if you want, uh, please subscribe to my channel. And uh, I hope to see you at one of my next tutorials. Bye-bye.